There is nothing that disappoints me more than a what I spend in a week video where they don't actually put what they spend in a week. I see these types of videos all the time. The algorithm absolutely loves them. Every single time someone posts one, they do like 10 times the amount of views as all their other videos, yada yada. You see, the problem is they don't actually show you what they spend in a week. They show you what they want you to think they spend in a week. Well, I'm here to write all of those wrongs with the most accurate what I spend in a week ever to exist on YouTube. When people make these videos, they usually leave out rent, Wi-Fi, toilet paper, stuff like that. I'm gonna have literally everything. You can try to find something that I spend my money on or you think I do, you won't. Okay, I'm gonna get in huge trouble for this next shot. If you're Graham Stephan, please just close out of the video right now. Okay, so while I show you a montage of my workout, I'll explain to you why you're probably seeing all these weird numbers showing you the cost of everything. I created this spreadsheet that breaks down the cost of all of the things that I use into their most basic unit, like the cost per gram of rice that I buy. I can then multiply that number with the measured amount of something I consume, usually obtained with a food scale, to get the exact cost of something down to sometimes the hundred billionth of a penny. And yes, this was a huge pain in the butt to make, but it's also kind of fun to see that the cost of one cotton swab is just over a penny. Uh, okay, I'm gonna finish this pull up and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Protein powder. We have 26.3 grams of that. That much. 284.2 grams. <laughs> Kroger gluten free crunchy peanut butter. Big deal. I'm on gear, okay? I take creatine, so now you guys know. 207.9 grams. This is what I got out of that. After playing pickleball, I got hungry, so I decided to make some oatmeal. I used 83.4 grams of oats, 21.3 grams of protein powder, half a gram of cinnamon, 79.5 grams of peanut butter. It's <laughs> a lot. 528.9 grams of Simple Truth almond milk. What is this for exactly? It's for a video, what I spend in a week, but I want it to be the most accurate what I spend in a week to ever be on YouTube. 211 and a half grams of banana. Do you actually eat your like that? Do I actually eat my meal? <laughs> and 25 and a half grams of honey. Seriously? <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Of course it's good, it's just a lot. It's, honey's not unhealthy. If you weren't here, I'd put in more. <laughs> 25 and a half grams of honey. How's that? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's super good. After eating that disgusting oatmeal, I brushed my teeth with 0.6 grams of toothpaste, cleaned my ears with some cotton swabs, and then went to bed. It's New Year's and I got invited to a party. The only problem is when I go to this party, I'm gonna look like this, unless if I do something about it. So I'm gonna fix this at Great Clips and shave my beard. Let's see how much it costs. All right, so I just got the haircut. It was $18 and I left a $10 tip, so 28 total. Time to go trim my beard and get ready for the party. I then shaved and tried to make myself look presentable and made some oatmeal, which was $2.23 of ingredients. You don't keep lists of your hints or your misses, but I carve my kisses in the <laughs> I keep my past behind glass, but you don't want to know. Start the new year off right with some Taco Bell. How much so you may have noticed in this video, it is New Year's. And in real life, it's May. To be completely honest, continuing to do this video has been something I absolutely dread doing. Like I have sunk probably 30 plus hours into the editing of this video. And then of course I was filming my entire life for a week. Every split decision that I made, every drive that I did, every small purchase I made, it was horrible. And um, <clears throat> and 
And the purpose of this cutaway segment is to address the elephant in the room. <clears throat> obviously, there must be, obviously, there must be something wrong if it's taken me five months and I still haven't completed the video. Like, I'm probably halfway done right now. Wherever it ended is exactly where I was. And I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. If I haven't finished the video in five months, obviously there's a big problem going on. And I wanted to attack that problem head on, which is my perfectionism that I've suffered from basically my entire life. And I don't want to say suffer from implying that I'm some sort of victim or something like that. It's something I put on myself and it's my fault and it's my duty to try to fix it. <clears throat> All of the videos that I've posted so far on this channel have required so many less hours than I put into them to actually post them. Like, I probably spent 10 times the amount of time any sane person would spend on all of those videos. And it just goes to show the extent. And if you are a perfectionist, you probably... And if you are a perfectionist, you probably understand what I'm about to say. When you spend so much time on a certain project, your brain starts to just not understand what is good and what is bad. So like even the work that I've put out so far, I haven't been proud of. And I know for a fact when I'm detached from the project, I can help so much. Like if I advise my friends on their content, their YouTube title, their thumbnail and stuff like that, the editing, like I can do that so well. But for my own sake, I get so emotionally convoluted that I can't even, I can't even know what is good and what is bad. It's extremely challenging for me. The perfectionism... The perfectionism, the perfectionism for me stops me from starting certain projects because I know for a fact once I take on a certain project, I'm going to want to do it absolutely perfectly. And it is obviously impossible to do something perfectly. And I end up spending so much time, so much effort, so much mental energy on a project that is just clearly insane. It makes no sense. And it makes it so undesirable for me to take on new ventures because of that or to start a new video, or to start a new video because of that. And I also know that once I do end up finishing whatever product it is, I'm gonna be completely unsatisfied with it. So clearly it's a problem with myself. The purpose of this, the purpose of this segment right here is to attack this problem head on, and I just wanna post this and get over my fear, although it's gonna be horrendously difficult for me. I want to post it and obviously I'm very nervous because I'm, you know, stumbling over my words and stuff isn't coming out very right, but it also excites me to challenge myself in a way that I've never challenged myself before and just not care. If you guys are actually curious about how much I spend in a week, I don't know. Uh, the Caleb Hammer video that I did claimed that I spent $10,000 a week, which... <clears throat> The Caleb Hammer video that I... The Caleb Hammer video that I appeared on claimed that I spent $10,000 every month, which is probably accurate if you consider my total variable expenses with my house, which is about $3,500 a month. You know, my bills, my phone bill, my subscriptions. I have a WeWork subscription. And on top of that, I also have people that I need to pay for certain services, like the TikTok clipping that we do, just like the person that edits the Iced Coffee Hour, the people that edit the Graham Stephan Show, I pay for that. So yeah, it probably comes out to nearly $10,000 a month. That might be a little bit high, maybe eight to $9,000 a month. But you've probably recognized by now that my personal spending is very low. I don't go out to fancy meals. I don't drive a super nice car. That's just the way that I prefer to live my life. And I'm so sorry I can't provide you with an actual number. My phone bill is $32 a month. We work is 200 and something dollars a month. <clears throat> Obviously, I cannot show you guys the true extent, the time investment, the mental drain that I've experienced in making this video, but you're just going to have to trust me when I say it has been so horribly challenging and I dreaded editing it and I dreaded working on it and I dreaded every single aspect of this video to the point where I wouldn't want to start and then finally when I got enough energy when everything was perfect when my room was clean when I had already hit the gym when I had eaten good food when I feel like I'm in a good mood and I and all of the the perfect storm occurs where I can go and I can attack this video I go and attack it and I hate every second so sorry if you want to be entertained by this video and I can't do that for you, uh, but it's just the honest truth.
By the way, guys, I'm just editing this right now, and now I'm kind of nervous that you guys are gonna get the idea that I'm like really struggling or something in my life. Struggling or something in my life right now. But to be completely honest, um, I'm like the happiest I've been in a super long time. I'm super, I'm feeling very confident recently. I've been feeling very confident recently. Uh, I've been reading a ton. We're super far ahead on the iced coffee hour and everything in my life is going very great. I have some vacations coming up that I'm so excited for. Finally gonna leave the country for the first time. And just the confidence that it takes for me to be posting something so vulnerable and open and transparent should show you guys that I'm coming from a really good spot in my life. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this transparency. And like I said, don't worry about me. Like I, I really am doing well. So don't, don't get the idea I'm like really struggling at this point in my life. I'm doing great actually. So thank you so much for watching the video.